hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new uh, my name is Jessica Nicole I am an indie author I publish YA fantasy romance series and today I'm going to be doing a little research for one of the series I'm writing right now so I'm currently writing two series one of them is an elemental based um, elven creature dark academia series called the forest view academy series um, and the second series that I'm working on I just released one book in it so far so it's a little bit newer and that's the one I'm gonna be doing a little research on today so um, that series is called ladylike and it's actually a historical YA fantasy romance series um, having to do with a lot of witches and a lot of um, lore from England and different parts of Europe as well. I'm gonna bring in a few different things in book two, but um, I want to do a little bit of research specifically on the Regency era. I found a documentary on, on YouTube that I'm gonna be watching on my iPad and I will link that documentary in the description box um, if you're interested, um, but I'm just going to be basically doing a little study with me. Um, I've got different colored uh, pins here to take my notes in and I bought this huge notebook here. It is this big in relation to the size of my head and I have a big head and um, it's by Pin and Gear. I got it at Walmart and I'm basically gonna make like a little key up here. See my title, The Regency Era, and I'm gonna make a little key for the different colors and what I'm writing, but I won't know what I'm writing about until I actually start watching the documentary. So I will show you what I have at the end of the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and prop you guys up over there and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I just learned that um, the regent of England, George, was only regent because of his father's madness. His father um, had an illness that caused him to kind of go mad, really, you know, there's a scientific explanation for it now, but anyway, George was appointed regent which means he wasn't quite a king and his office would disappear as soon as his father recovered his senses. So since I've got elements of magic in my um, series and we've got witches and curses and all kinds of monsters going on, I kind of want to tie that into my book. So I'm going to add that into my notes. Okay, so I just finished my little mini study session on the Regency era. As you can see, I have all my notes here, and they're color coordinated to my key up here. I've got activities in green, politics in orange, attitudes in blue, and then make it fantasy <laughs> for pink. So what I was really looking for with this documentary was I wanted to know more about the world, the world that surrounded my characters, because I really didn't have that big of a clue, honestly, that much of a clue of what, um, you know, the world at that time looked like in this region. 
um, of the world. So, um, I knew about like the fashion and, you know, all of that and, you know, some of the customs, but I didn't really know much about like the political landscape, for example, or, um, the attitudes or, you know, a lot of the activities people enjoy. So those were the things I was looking for. And then if I found an interesting fact, I decided to call it, you know, figure out a way to make it fantasy. For example, I paused and told you about um, the circumstances surrounding uh, the Prince Regent, Prince of Wales, um, becoming uh, the Regent, and I decided to, you know, work that into my plot a little bit. Um, I got the fact of how long the Regency actually lasted, the Regency era, and so that gave me a better idea of the year that I wanted my four books in my series to uh, coincide with, or the couple of years. I'm thinking around like 1816 would be best. Um, different attitudes of people, different the political landscape, the war between, uh, you know, the British Empire and France. Uh, I'm going to look into some of Lord Byron's poetry and his life and kind of work him into this. Art was really huge at this time, so I definitely want to work art into my uh, plot more. Um, thought up a cool scenario with uh, the Brotherhood, sort of like a secret society uh, in my series. Just all kinds of good stuff I'm super excited about, and I've got like a better idea of where I want the series to go from here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video if you want more videos like this. I'm definitely going to keep doing this uh, for all kinds of different things that I'm interested in learning about. Um, but if you want me to film it, make sure you like this video, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.